Angle Relationships In this video, we will discuss five different kinds of angle relationships. Let's start with adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles that are next to each other and share a common side. This pair of angles that I've drawn, you can see are right next to each other. They share a common side. They are right next to each other. This means they are adjacent angles. Vertical angles are two angles across from each other on intersecting lines. They are always congruent. That means their measures are equal. This pair of angles that I've drawn are vertical angles because they are across from each other and their measures are equal, which means they are congruent. Straight angles are angles that measure 180 degrees. Two angles that are supplementary form a straight angle. And a straight angle pretty much just looks like a straight line. We can see if we measured it that that is a 180 degree line, 180 degree angle. So what are supplementary angles? Supplementary angles are any two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. We can see this in one of two ways. The first way is when we have two supplementary angles, angles whose sum adds up to 180 degrees, that are also adjacent, meaning they are right next to each other, they share a common side. These two angles, 150 degrees and 30 degrees, are supplementary because when we add up the sum of their angles, we get 180. Another way you can see supplementary angles are when they are not adjacent, meaning they are not right next to each other sharing a side, but their sum of their angles still adds up to 180 degrees. So 120 plus 60 equals 180 degrees, so they are both supplementary. Complementary angles are any two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. So we, again, can see this in one of two ways. We can see this to where those two angles are adjacent, meaning they are right next to each other and they share a common side. And when complementary angles are adjacent to each other, they form a corner. But sometimes we'll see two complementary angles that are not adjacent. They do not share a common side, but their sum still equals 90. Two angles with the same degree measure are congruent angles. Vertical angles are congruent angles. We can classify pairs of angles based on their relationship. Classify each pair of angles as adjacent, vertical, supplementary, complementary, or neither. So let's look at this first pair of angles together. Now I notice they are not right next to each other. They do not share a common side, so that means they are not adjacent. So we can cross that off. They're not across from each other when lines intersect, so they're not vertical. Uh, supplementary means that their angles add up to 180 degrees. So let's see what we get when we add up the measure of their angles. So we do get 180 degrees. That means they are supplementary. If they're supplementary, that means they cannot be complementary. And then neither just means that they don't fit any of the descriptions listed above. So the only thing that describes these two angles well is supplementary. Let's look at this pair of angles. Now, adjacent angles are right next to each other sharing a common side. And I do see that these angles are right up next to each other sharing a common side, so they are adjacent. Vertical angles are across from each other, so they can't be vertical angles because they're not across from each other, they're next to each other. Supplementary means the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. Let's see what the sum of these two angles is. It's not 180 degrees, so they're not supplementary but they are complementary because the sum adds up to 90 degrees. So these two angles are both adjacent and complementary. Now I want you to look at this pair of angles and see what you observe about them. Think about what we learned in our notes. Ask yourself the questions I've been asking you on the other problems, and I want you to try this on your own. 
We'll check again once you press play, so pause to solve and press play to check when you're confident in your answer. So these two angles are complementary because their measures add up to 90 degrees. They're not adjacent because they do not share a common side. They're not vertical because they are not across from each other on intersecting lines. They're not supplementary because they are complementary. And they're not neither because they do fit some of the criteria. Let's look at this pair of angles. I want you to go ahead and try this one on your own. Press pause, and then when you're confident in your answer, press play to check. These two angles are adjacent and supplementary. They are adjacent because they are right next to each other and share a common side, and they are supplementary because the two angles form a straight line. And we talked about this. When you have two supplementary angles to adjacent angles that form a straight angle, that straight line that is 180 degrees, then they are supplementary angles. Alrighty guys, it's time for you to try some completely on your own. Number five I would like for you to do on your own and we will check in class tomorrow. As well as number six, do on your own and we will check with our groups in class. But the fun's not over. You can write and solve an equation to find the missing measure if there is a missing measure in your angles. So let's look at number seven. It says write and solve an equation to determine the value of x in each figure. So we look at the angles in the figure. I notice that these two angles are adjacent. They are next to each other and that they form a straight line, meaning they form a straight angle. And I know from the front of my notes that a straight angle has a 180 degree measure. So these two angles, when we add them up together, equal 180 degrees. So all I have to write for my equation is x plus 49 equals 180. Now we need to solve the equation, and it's exactly the same as solving all the other equations we've done. I want to get the x by itself on one side, which means I need to get rid of plus 49. So I'm going to subtract 49 on both sides to keep it balanced. Well, x plus 49 minus 49 is just x. So x equals whatever 180 minus 49 is. And that, my friends, is 131 degrees. So x is 131 degrees. Let's try this next one. Now, again, we have to write and solve an equation to determine the value of x, so we need to make some observations. I notice that when these two angles come together, they form a corner. That means they are complementary, and that means they add up to 90 degrees. They are also adjacent angles right next to each other, so these two adjacent angles that form a corner are complementary, meaning their sum will be 90. So that is x plus 22 equals 90. And now, of course, we need to solve. So I'm going to subtract 22 from both sides. Plus 22 minus 22 cancels out, so I just have x. And 90 minus 22 is 68. So the measure of angle x is 68 degrees. So this one I want you to try completely by yourself, and we will check this one together with our groups when we return to class. But don't stop the video yet. Once you've solved this one on your own, we're going to do number 10 together. So once you finish this one, go on to number 10. Okay, so again, write and solve an equation to determine the value of x in each figure. But as I'm looking at this figure, I notice it's not like any of the other ones we've done before. All the other ones we did before were adjacent angles, where the two angles were right next to each other and they shared a common side. These angles are across from each other on intersecting lines. So that means these are vertical angles. And vertical angles, if you look at the front of your notes, are congruent, meaning they have the same measure. So that means whatever 8 times x is, it's equal to 120 degrees. 
and we know how to solve this kind of equation, so I want you to finish solving this on your own and check with your group when we return to class. Great job, guys. See you soon.